Hey YouTube. Um, I'm just going to. I put up a video late, late, late last night, and I was praying that nobody would get to it because I didn't fix it up yet. I'm just about um your testimony can save somebody's life. Um, I'm just going to uh, uh put the scripture up um for that um. For that text and before I do that I'm gonna pray father I bless you today I honor you today father you are awesome father um, every every person under the sound of my voice will be healed oh God I declare that chains will be broken I declare that people will begin sharing their testimony because they know that their testimony is not for them to keep it's for them to share no matter how embarrassing it is no matter how shameful it is sharing their testimony will, will bring freedom because we know as in your text today from Ecclesiastes King Solomon said there is nothing new under the sun Lord God and we praise you for what you're going to do we praise you for the lives you're going to save, Lord Jesus. I declare, a, I declare a supernatural move of God through this sermon that the world has never seen, oh God. I declare families getting back together. I declare people getting healed, oh God. I see people getting off the streets, Lord God, through this sermon, oh God. You know, you, you know that secrets keep us bound. You you know that secrets keep us bound and chained up oh god and i declare for a supernatural move of god that you'll open our eyes to the harmful to the harmful things that family secrets friends secrets any kind of secrets are doing lord jesus open up the lines of communication god i praise you i praise you and worship you you are holy God, you are worthy. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, today's scripture is taken from Ecclesiastes 1. Enjoy the word of God. Let it go into your spirit and produce fruit. Let this word today change your life. Let God do what he's going to do in your life with this word. I declare it in Jesus' name. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 1. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, the words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full unto the place from whence the rivers come. Thither they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new, it hath been already of old time which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem. And I gave my heart to seek and search out my wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. 
this sore travail hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I communed with mine own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And I gave my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. In just am going to say one thing when we were listening to the scripture I noticed there's a very morose tone to Solomon's um, preaching and I think that's what happens when you like he, he was talking about the experiences of his life and said, you know, I did this, I did that, I did this, and all was vain. So, I'm just, I'm just taking out of the text for a minute. I just wonder if he had a shared his, he was sharing it with the church, but I just wonder to myself if he had a shared while he was going through all of this, would would he have such a remote, rem morose tone to his lifestyle that all, all he said all was vanity? So I just wondered if he had have shared it earlier, maybe when he was a younger man, because he wrote the Ecclesiastes book when he was older, and I just wonder if he had a. Oh, what was he about? If he had have shared his troubles with women and with what he had seen when he was younger, would he have such a morose tone? Because another thing, is, another thing that secrets do, it it makes you bitter. It makes you bitter. The longer you keep, what whether it be a family secret or whatever. The longer you keep a secret, the more bitter it makes you, like, very bitter. So every time you see the person or every time you think of the secret, it causes you to be bitter. And sharing your testimony brings freedom. So I think that's an interesting twist to, the see, um, to our text. Uh, I'll see you later, YouTube. But if you're wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt, this is actually a different day. I recorded um, um, yesterday the actual message, and this is just the scripture. So I hope you you got the word of God and you let it go down into your spirit. Open doors today, God. Set captives free. Let people begin to share experiences. Because you said... By the blood of... By the blood of our... By the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, we shall be free. I declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Amen.